Hey guys, what's up? All right, so this next video we're gonna take we're gonna talk about overcoming procrastination. We're human. <laughs> we procrastinate. Whether it's meal prepping or going to the gym or going back to school because you want to get a degree and get to that next position at, at your job, whatever the case may be, whether it's taking a trip, one thing that I really, really lack is procrastination in uh, spending time with family and friends, loved ones. I would always put off trips and always put work first. And procrastination will will hurt you. You know, it'll it'll hurt you in in a, in a lot of ways. Whether it's you know losing those friendships, losing those relationships, um, getting fatter because you're not going to the gym, uh, getting fatter because you're just ordering Uber Eats and McDonald's, and you're not really you know taking into account that you know you you have to be healthy you know so i just want to do a quick video and talk about overcoming procrastination the only person that you're hurting is yourself when you procrastinate you only hurt yourself you know if you don't eat healthy you're going to get fatter which is going to you know which is going to hurt you from a health standpoint you're not going to like how you look it's going to hurt your self-esteem. You know, you have to think about the big picture and not just being lazy. It's super easy to be lazy. Obviously, we all have cheat days and things like that. But try not to pro procrastinate. You know, for me, I procrastinate in, take, in taking time for myself and spending that time with loved ones, whether it be friends or relationship. And that hurt me throughout the years. I would lose friends. I would lose relationships because it was always, no, I have to meet this goal. No, I have to, you know, I have to work today. I have to make that money. And it hurt me. It really did. It hurt me because I would lose those friendships and relationships. And now I have to be kind to myself and say, okay, now's the time to, to make sure that, that you have balance, right? Work is always going to be there. And if people respect your work, they're gonna wait for you to come back after three days or two days or five days or whatever it is, right? So don't procrastinate, you know, treating yourself well, whether it's a staycation or a vacation or a massage or whatever that is. And don't procrastinate in doing things for loved ones, you know? A lot of times we don't see our parents as much as we like to. A lot of times we don't see close friends as much as we like to. Had a situation where two very close friends of mine of 20 years got in a car accident, he ended up passing, she ended up living. I wish I would have had more time to spend with him and see him more if I would have known, right? But that just goes to show tomorrow isn't guaranteed. You can't procrastinate in picking up the phone and checking in on friends and family. You can't procrastinate in spending 30 minutes with a friend just to have coffee. You know, you just don't know what's gonna happen in the future. So just remember, don't procrastinate. You're always gonna feel like there's another day and I'm sure that there will be for a lot of us, but you never know what's gonna happen around the corner. Medical, God forbid, right? But it does, it does exist. Cancers exist, diseases exist, accidents exist. All these things exist, right? So don't procrastinate tomorrow for what you could do today and get things done but remember procrastination to improve your uh, you want to avoid procrastination to to improve yourself to spend time with loved ones your family to only benefit you and when and when you do things for you you're happier and that's what matters because when you're happier the people that love you and that are around you are going to be happier for you and they're going to you know, support you. Not that they're not going to support you if you're not happy, but you know, you, you have an influence on people around you. So I hope this helps everyone. You know, we all have daily struggles and I like to talk about things that I deal with. As you can see, it's late here in Vegas and I'm super tired. It's the weekend, but you know, you got to get things done this way. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not, I'm not behind. Right. So anyways, I hope, I hope everyone's doing well and uh hope you guys have a amazing productive week